Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. So today, this is going to be a very important video. And uh, we're, um, uh, we think it's going to be somewhat relational to what's going on with, with, with Zen or maybe what should be going on with Zen. But we're specifically focusing on Worldcoin today. You know, if you don't know what Worldcoin is all about, uh, you probably know about something called chat gpt right chat gpt is the biggest uh artificial intelligence jump probably in human history right and many of you all are familiar with what chat gpt can can do but you're looking here at sam altman he's the creator of it of uh chat gpt and uh we're seeing the significance of chat gpt and the things that it can do as far as AI, uh, uh, artificial intelligence um, revolutions are concerned. Uh, he also felt it responsible to create a system where he could try to balance out the dangers of AI as to say automation, the ability to AI to replicate human jobs, take jobs from people and just change the economy as a whole. And one way that Sam Altman figured out how to do this was creating something called Worldcoin, which would act basically like a universal basic income. That's basically what it is, right? It's getting money out to people who are going to be displaced by jobs, who are going to be displaced by automation, uh, especially in areas where uh, it's not a lot of technology as it is, uh, jobs being displaced and, and people who... Uh, can now receive uh, some type of uh, uh, income to to help them carry on. Now, I think what attracted me to projects like Zen, you know, as I'm speaking to many of you all, uh, is that Zen kind of, uh, whether it was purposely meant to do this or not, it kind of satisfies some of those things because distributing uh, money into many people's hands and that can uh, kind of you know help this situation. But unfortunately, Zen is all over the place, and it's leading to the the founder of Zen, um, you know, not only doing a lot of projects, but not really knowing what to do with Zen, in my opinion. And and I say that because uh, he's he's in his latest interview, he was saying that trying to get Zen in a Goldilocks zone of what of a blockchain that uh, has gas fees that are high, but not too high, right? Because he, he, because Zen doesn't have any kind of use case because it's really not doing anything or serving none of humanity. He's hoping that the value of Zen will latch on to the, to the gas fees, right? And that would substantiate the value. But the problem with that is it, that doesn't specifically solve a problem, uh, a significant problems, uh, you know, in uh, cryptocurrency or, you know, or to us humans in, in, in any way. And that's how come uh, Zen kind of, uh, um, you know, it, 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 it's kind of stagnant at this point. It's stagnant because nobody knows what to do with it and the use cases of it aren't good. Uh, and that's a problem. Although it, it did catch some virality, uh, you know, and there are different things happening with it. it. I don't think it'll ever reach its full potential. Now, Sam Altman is launching Worldcoin today. Let's talk a little bit about how Worldcoin works and what examples Zen can take from it uh, and the differences with the project we found at Bitcoin and YK. When you're creating cryptocurrencies, create cryptocurrencies that solve a human problem. That's, the, that's what is the missing part. Now, Sam Altman, unfortunately, he's the harbinger of the problem by creating this sophisticated technology that is uh, uh, catastrophic to humans in some sense. If you look at something like the writer's strike and the acting strike, that's pretty much about AI being able to write scripts, which ChatGPT does, <laughs> being able to, uh, CGI being able to recreate the actors, uh, ChatGPT giving the AI the brain in order to say the lines, right, to 
uh, to uh, improvise as such and to carry on communication and conversations, right? Are, are you guys getting this? Is, is it linking to you, right? Why do these videos, why Bitcoin and why kids is so important and the great use cases of this, right? Because if you have a society like that, if you have a technology like that, you're gonna have to find a way to keep humans relevant. And the easiest way to keep humans relevant in such an economy, in such a world, is to get money into their hands and to do it effectively, right? Uh, most of crypto is based, unfortunately, just on who has the money and who doesn't have the money. And those who have the money control the blockchain, control the governments, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is a problem. It's a problem in democracy and many things. Anyway, let's talk about how we can learn from rural coin, right? And again, the differences with Bitcoin and YK because Bitcoin and YK figured this out years ago. The problem in cryptocurrency, why it's not doing good, why everybody think it's a scam, it's not solving any human problems, right? It's mostly meme coins that are pump and dump schemes that go nowhere. And until you guys realize that, um, it's not going to improve. Also, the content creators who promote the meme coins, the scam coins, the bullshit coins, have the most views because people think they're going to get rich. And they never do. It's not a lot of crypto millionaires, right? People like me, the people, the projects that matter, that create real solutions to economic prosperity, get the less views. That's how it works, unfortunately. Maybe we're going to change that uh, going forward. Now, how WorldCoin works, right, is basically anytime you have a, a distribution mechanism that's trying to balance out the problems AI is going to cause, which is a significant human concern. Automation is one of the biggest concerns in human history on how we're going to deal with this, on how uh, to keep our uh, society, our advanced societies uh, in good working order. And we can't have that if we have these dualistic economies where you're either rich or poor, or you're struggling day to day, and automation and AI is taking your jobs away and making human beings obsolete, right? We become second-class citizens. We already are second-class citizens in a human society. Now, what WorldCoin has done, because it will be very difficult to distribute to, it's always going to be human beings who are greedy, who are self-seeking individuals, who uh, harm society more than they help society. And what am I talking about? We're talking about people who will be doing civil attacks, crazy human beings who uh, will try to figure out ways to beat the system and through greed try to get more of the cryptocurrency than they're due to. They're not looking for fairness. They're looking for destruction and disruption. It is a human flaw. It is one that AI uh, will replace, I think, one day, will solve one day, and we're getting closer to it. So what WorldCoin has done it's created something called the Orb, which I think is now in like 30 cities or something, right? And uh, they're, they're going to have operators, Orb operators all around the world. And what this is in layman's terms is just a, a, a what you might call a retina scan where you stick. I'm trying to see if I can find a picture of the Orb, actually. I was looking at one earlier, but just, you, you just stick your eyes in it and uh, you'll get basically your wallet address, a QR code, etc., you get it, uh, it identifies you. Now, a lot of people don't like identity systems, uh, but now the data is destroyed once it it, it it says you're a unique person, right? You No pictures of your, your iris or retina is used for identification purposes against uh, FBI or CIA files in which they can now use that against you. Now, people like Eric Snowden, religious people who think it's the mark of the beast, uh, conspiracy theory theorists, QAnon members, a variety of you guys out there uh, will say this is the mark of the beginning of the end and this could be used to control you. What I never got about that argument of 
using some type of basic income system uh, technology system to solve humanity's problems like this that aren't being solved any other way. Uh, what I never got was that why would UBI be able to control a person who has the option to go out there and get the UBI and work on their own skills there that they've developed, right? And still earn their own money. You know, uh, UBI was never meant or set to be your only source of income. And that's not what we're saying here. I kind of look at it as supplemental income, but for the people who will be outpaced in the technology revolution, yes, um, it's a way to, in an advanced society, help these people, right? To keep uh, society sane, to keep us from going into great depressions where nobody has money except a few smart, rich people. So that's not a healthy economy. It's not a healthy society. It's a dystopian society. It's a high crime society. So this is what we should be focused on in cryptocurrency and nothing else. Now, why I like what's happening with WorldCoin and, and, and Sam Altman uh, is they're looking to get 2 billion users, right? They know they can do this because ChatGPT got several million users in like five days, outpacing any social network on the history of creation, any network in history, ChatGPT outpaced. So the creator of ChatGPT, he can do it with a cryptocurrency, absolutely. But I think it sets a model. And what model does it set uh, in this 